I can remember na merong one time na nagkumain kami sa isang restaurant. And then they placed us very uh, far from the entrance na para hindi kami nakikita na parang doon kami sa side. Ayaw nila siguro nakikita na merong dalawang lalaki na kumakain magkasama. Like in a selfish way, it felt like I was being shoved back in the closet. Del Rosario. I'm Justine Peña. Hi, I'm Gino. Hi, I'm Edward. Hi, I'm Jelly. I'm Frances. Uh, my name is RJ Puod. And I'm Joey Cortina. Hi, my name is Jay Kim. Hi, my name is Lex. Hi, I'm MJ. I'm Daniel. I'm Michaela Javier. I'm Neil Beatriz. And I identify myself as bisexual. I identify myself as gay. Transgender man. Queer slash pan. Pan sexual. Non binary. Non binary pansexual. I'm bisexual, but I lean towards girls. Couples find it difficult to get close in public. Yes, here, no? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Both yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Ako kasi personally, wala akong pakialam sa mga nasa paligid namin eh. Mapapansin namin yan na a lot of people will titingnan kami, ganun. Pero ako hindi ako nahihiya kasi sobrang confident ako sa sarili ko and comfortable ako nakasama siya. Kami, we're lucky since heteronormative kami. We don't get We don't get the stares. We understand that kami kasi, we have cis privilege. Kasi when you look at us, parang wala namang ano, wala namang emit. When you're in a same-sex relationship kasi, you get the judgmental stares from the public. Nasanay kasi kami na we uh, touch, like hold hands, ganyan. But minsan na uh, bother ako pag may nakatingin. I think if we hold hands sometimes, nabagkakawal na kami BFFs lang. Magkapatid. Yes. They look at us and they're wondering like, katropa lang ba tong dalawang to or like may something naiisip nila oh babae sa babae goods yan tapos parang they will just come to us in the movie theaters lang kami nakapag-holding hands kasi it's dark tapos ang hawak-hawakan lang is tropa like in hawak sa ganun <laughs> kaya hindi ko I remember we had like this one unfortunate incident when we were riding a cab we were very much intimate inside the cab and the driver talaga explicitly told us na kung babas sa sinyo tong sasakyan ko, lumabas na lang kayo. And we were shocked because that was the first time that that ever happened to us. Kahit wala naman silang outright na ginagawa para saktan kami, parang nandun yung sense ko na, you know, looking after my shoulder. Naging cause siya of friction for us early on because I was more open to, to, to like holding hands and stuff like that. Tapos parang, like in a selfish way, it felt like I was being shoved back in the closet. Guru deep-seated trauma. <laughs> na um, di pa ako out for a few years before hirap pa ako na maging close in public and the fact that I had to 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 go back in with her kasi nga natatakot pa siya and I was the first girl that that she dated di ko rin siya pinresure na magshow ng affection sa akin publicly I think that it comes naturally na lang mas nag evolve na lang yung yung pagpapakita namin ng love sa isa't isa yes or no the LGBTQ plus are easily accepted when they come out No. <laughs> no. <laughs> kasi ako, I did not have a coming out story kasi my parents are really cool. Very lucky because my parents are very accepting. Um, hindi nila ako kinahiya as gay ako growing up. Medyo ano yun, medyo parang ang weird kasi having been raised like that, I thought na it's like that for all. Kapag nag-come out ka kasi, There's this judgment pa rin. Pag sinasabi ko sa kanila na I'm non-binary, nagugulat sila na it's like I have to prove myself na kailangan ko pang humalik ng lalaki para lang sabihin sa yung non-binary ako. Ako, nag-come out ako nung naging kami na kasi nga sinasabi niya sa akin na kailangan ka pa magiging ready. When I was a kid kasi, pag ka napapanood namin si Jake Cyrus, talaga sabihin ng mama ko na, oh, wag kang gagaya dyan, or kay Isa Siguera. Di ba ganun yung mga ano na, mapupunta ka sa inyo, like legit. So ako, parang, kinonvince ko pa yung sarili ko noon na, oh, baka I'm not lesbian, baka naman, it's just a face. Pero before, you don't get to dress that way. I can't dress kasi, oo. Parang, most of my youth was about me hiding talaga. Tananggap ko na talaga na parang like, maybe I'm going to have to hide this for the rest of my life. 
Maybe. Maybe. It's a maybe. <laughs> it's a maybe pa rin. Oh, it's a maybe. It's better now compared to say 20 or 30 years ago. I think ha, when you come out like with people na friends mo, it's very accepting. Pero pag family, hindi naman parang totally accepting. Pero kasi because, you know, ikaw yan, they love you. Parang it's more of, ano lang sila, parang compliance. <laughs> um, I'm glad to say that my mom was really supportive. Sinamahan niya pa ako dun sa surgery ko when I had my top surgery in 2015. With my family, they started uh, transitioning with me. Uh, they started switching from calling me ate, and then it was a process for my mom. They had to call me Teya as a sign of uh, transitioning. They couldn't say kuya right away. So it was in between, Teya. Pero ngayon naman, super accepting ng parents and family. So I think um, the more may alam sila about it, the more na mas maintindihan nila. LGBTQ plus couples are treated the same as straight couples. Absolutely. Uh, uh, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just laughing. For example, sa insurance, I can't even put her on my beneficiary. I have to put my mom. If we decide to, you know, have a family, ang daming talon yung kailangan para hindi ka tulad sa cis hep couples na napaka supportive ng institution sa kanila na hindi nila kailangan diskartehan. Say for example, if we get married abroad, it will not be recognized by the government here. So parang wala talaga siyang masyadong bigat. The fact that our wedding isn't legal here, so, here in the Philippines is also besties pa rin tayo dito. <laughs> Roommates. Roommates. Na, Pag member ka ng LGBTQIA, sobrang daming stigma ang nakadikit sa iyo. And then sa teleseries nga, and then sa mga movies natin, kapag yung tao, yung regular couple, kikiligin sila agad, ganun. Pero pag LGBT couple, parang nakikringe sila. Siyempre, meron pa rin mga cultural uh, paradigm differences. Like, if you're gay, you're expected to look a certain way, you're supposed to act a certain way as a couple. If you have someone who's queer, parang yung mindset agad is baka mahawa ako nito. It's just the same. Parang we're not really here to convert anyone. We're not really here to parang influence anyone na Okay, you convert to being gay, but <laughs> wala siyang ganon, wala kaming ganon anything. It's Straight couples can understand us a bit more when they realize we're not that different. All we're trying to do is fall in love, stay in love, have the same rights. Kahit civil wedding, sige, kahit civil wedding na lang, yun na lang ibigay niyo sa akin. Again, we just want to be treated like normal people. Is the Philippines ready for queer relationships? Such a complex question. Yeah, 50-50 din eh. Leaning sa no, pero maybe. <laughs> it's ready in the sense na if they are willing to finally embrace themselves in that way. There are people for them, there is a community for it. No, in the sense na if they do it, hindi siya madali. LGBTQIA plus community in the Philippines are just tolerated. Hindi pa talaga tayo fully accepted. Um, a lot of people would say natanggap nila pa, but but they would say na don't be too gay or I accept you pero don't behave a certain way pa rin kasi it's making me correct it's making me uncomfortable or yeah. even in budding yan for example pero mabait naman yan okay. so in order for you to be accepted by the society you have to prove yourself the philippines as progressive as we try to be still has a lot of growing up to do. And there's so much representation now, more than ever. I mean, we can still do better, but it's there and we are progressing. That gives queer people more opportunities to represent themselves. To see nga na parang, oy, pwede pala tong mangyari sa akin. Different types of LGBT relationships lang na parang hindi porket both gay is parang comedy-comedy na agad lahat. There are some like older people who are saying na bakit dumadami ang bakla sa Pilipinas or bakit ang daming bakla sa, sa mga kabataan. It's not like a phenomenon or something. Oh, parang hindi <laughs> siya uprising. A gay thing. And then what's happening is, change the action siya. Some, someone has the courage to come out and makikita ng other people na parang, oh, sinusupport nila siya. And yun nga, that's the importance of representation. We're slowly turning into, ano, into a progressive country. Pero, we still have a long way. Medyo mahirap pa. I think we have so much pa na um, lalakbayin. Siguro kasi this generation is much more open na. Much more, yun yung woke generation na. So parang, siguro the younger ones, um, the next generations, baka mas sila pa yung parang, 
we'll get there. I still want to be hopeful na kayang i-accept ng tao kasi nga, uh, people learn. For me, that is like a big, the big, dream. the dream of any community. <laughs> Hindi mo na kailangan, oh, I'm trans, I'm lesbian. Hindi na ganun. Like, I'm just friends and I'm human being. For you guys, what does it mean to be free to love? Ano, being able to express who you really are. Be Siguro feeling safe. Feeling safe in general. For free to love ka, you don't have to explain why, why her, parang gana. I want to be able to bring him home to, I know, to my family and be like, have it be like the most normal thing, parang, oi, hi, Lex, nice to meet you, kind ka, blah, 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 blah. So I would like to have a love that we can celebrate and not just like shun because people are not yet ready for it.